Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin, and this is Demos with Angular. Today we have a very, very special update for you. We actually need your help. I'm going to walk through the process that you can follow, kind of step by step, in order to get from the latest version of Angular, which is currently v5, up to the preview release of v6, and all of the dependencies that come with that. And we need your help because we want you to give these instructions a try and let us know your feedback about our RCs and the kind of end-to-end -end experience. If you run into uh, bugs or issues, let us know. Or even if you run into something where the instructions aren't as clear or the path that we're recommending doesn't make sense to you, let us know all these things. So I'll be waiting for feedback. If you want to send me a message on Twitter, my Twitter handle is at Stephen Fluin, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-F-L-U-I-N. And we really can't wait to hear your feedback because we want to make this one of the best releases of Angular ever. Thanks so much for your help, and let's get started. So the site I'm going to be using to walk us through the update process is uh, Fluin.io. Uh, it's an open source project that I maintain uh, to push content out about Angular, but also to prove out some of the concepts of Angular uh, whenever I'm trying things out or building tutorials, etc. Uh, so this is an open source project, and if we look at the ng version output, uh, you'll see it's running an outdated version of the CLI, and it's running an outdated version of Angular. Uh, so this is actually relatively common and uh, definitely something we, we do expect. Uh, but a couple things to point out. So I am running v5 of Angular. Uh, this may work for versions earlier than 5, but uh, your experience may vary. Uh, and you'll also see that I'm running a node version that is later than 8. Uh, that is one of the dependencies that's been updated as part of the v6 release. And so the process we're going to follow has three steps. First, we're going to update the Angular CLI, and then we're going to use the updated CLI in a new command called ng-update to update RxJS, to update Angular uh, and all of the packages included in the framework side of things as well. So let's get started back at the terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this ng serve real quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the version of the CLI. So I have to do this via whatever package manager I use. You can do this via npm or yarn. I'll just use yarn here. So I'm going to say yarn add at angular slash CLI. And because we're doing a preview, I'm going to say at next here. And so that's going to go ahead and download and install locally. Um, I see some warnings here about my global version not matching my local version. Uh, don't worry about that. In general, the global CLI is always going to defer to the local CLI uh, whenever I have it installed in a project. So as soon as this is installed, uh, what will this will give me is this will give me an updated version of the ng command, the CLI, with a couple of new commands. So uh, this is not going. I'm not going to cover all of the cool new things in v6, but one of the new commands is the uh, ng update command. And so the ng update command is what we're going to be using in order to make these changes. And so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to run ng update at angular slash CLI because actually the CLI configuration has changed. So if you're familiar with our um, .angular.json file or .angular-cli.json file, this is now moved to angular.json. And so if I actually tried running an ng build, I'm going to see an error that says, hey, this file couldn't be found. You need to go update your project. Uh, usually you see a little bit of better instructions. I'm not sure what's going on there. But uh, in order to get to the latest version of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run uh, ng update at angular slash CLI. Uh, and we'll say dash dash migrate only because we've actually done the package update. Now we just want to migrate our project and apply the transforms to our project. And I'm going to say dash dash from equals 1.7.0. So I, I'm not actually it doesn't matter what I put here so much as long as it is uh, before version six, because that's when we change the package format. So as we see the update going on in the background here, uh, it's updated my Karma configuration, it's updated my config format, and it's moved my uh, CLI config from .angular-cli.json to angular.json. And there's a, a lot of reasons behind this, but the biggest thing is that we've moved to a much more flexible CLI configuration file that can really be expanded over time. So we had multi-app support, but it was not as powerful as it needed to be. Uh, and as the CLI extends its feature set, so adding support for things like libraries, uh, we needed the ability to have multiple projects in a single CLI workspace. You need the ability to have multiple targets and multiple configurations. So all of these things are now features of angular.json. Uh, and again, I'm not going to get into all the details of that file format. Uh, we'll, we'll be releasing a lot of information about that later. All right. So let me just type the commands here that we use. So I used yarn at, at angular slash CLI at next. 
and then I typed ng update dash dash migrate or update at angular slash cli migrate only dash dash from equals 1.7. All right, so the update script is completed, and so I should be able to just run ng-serve. And what we'll get is we will get a CLI version 6 uh, dev server up and running. And the, the big change here under the hood is that this is now using Webpack version 4. And so we're going to see uh, some changes to our bundle size, uh, as well as, a in general, a speed up in terms of the amount of time it takes to do these sorts of builds. And so if we refresh, our application should be working exactly the same. All right, step one has been successful. Great. Let's now move on to the second step. And so when we want to update RxJS, I'm now going to use this ng-update command, and all I should have to pass it is RxJS. Um, I will want to, because we're doing a preview release, I'm going to say at rc. And so we're going to install the uh, preview version of RxJS. And one of the things that's going to happen behind the scenes with this is that it's also going to be installing um, another package called rxjs-compat. And what rxjs-compat does uh, is it allows us to understand, uh, excuse me, to support all of the older things that uh, RxJS used to allow you to support, such as uh, RxJS slash add slash operators uh, and the old import paths. Uh, we're seeing an error here, so I'm just going to run dash dash force, so we'll ignore the HP, the dependency error. Uh, most people are going to have to do dash dash force because the uh, for a couple of reasons we can't actually indicate that the old version of Angular is compatible with this new version of RxJS because it's only compatible if you install the RxJS compat. All right, so this failed. Uh, so it looks like we'll need to do another release of RxJS. So let's just uh, do this the old fashioned way then. Instead of using the CLI to do this, I'm gonna get, run yarn add at RxJS at RC and RxJS compat at RC. So it looks like we're actually having a bit of an issue with the ng update rxjs right now. So I'm going to just run this manually with yarn add rxjs at rc and rxjs dash compat at rc. And so now we've updated the version of rx to our project, uh, and everything should keep working as long as we haven't done things like modify uh, or patch the prototype of observables um, or those sorts of things. So let's do an ng serve and just validate that step two is working here. All right, our application is working just fine. You can click around, everything's interacting perfectly. Our second step has been successful. So using yarn add rxjs at rc and rxjs compat at rc, everything has been successful. But we're still under the hood. Uh, we are using Angular v5, right? So if I, I type ng version, we're going to see uh, we're still running an out of date version. And so now I'm going to run ng update at angular slash core dash dash force. Uh, and I'm also going to say dash dash next because we want to access the preview release. And so what this will do is it's going to go ahead and update not only all of the Angular packages, such as animations, compiler, common, core, forms, platform server, platform browser, and those sorts of things, uh, but it's also going to update some of the peer dependencies like zone.js, uh, like TypeScript. So TypeScript is a big one where we're moving to 2.7. And so you might see some issues, uh, for example, with types that are now flowing better, uh, and we might expose some errors in your application that were there before, uh, but only now in TypeScript 2.7 are you going to see those errors. Uh, if you have uh, your TypeScript set up to strict configuration, uh, you might see a new flag called strict initialization uh, that we've heard about some developers running into issues with. So let's go ahead and let this complete, uh, and we'll double check ng version to make sure that everything's up to date. Uh, and then we'll do an ng serve and see if our application is now running uh, v6 successfully. All right, so let's double check this ng version. We are now running v6 of all of the core framework packages. Uh, very happy about that. Those are looking good. And now let's go ahead and run an ng serve. Oh, it says, uh, looks like TypeScript did not update for us. So let's go ahead and just uh, fix this by running the command that it told us to run, if it will let me kill the CLI. So let's go ahead and just add the correct version of TypeScript. And I'm going to run ng-serve. So 
So now we are on CLI version 6, running the latest version of RxJS and the latest version of the framework packages. So let's go ahead and hit refresh and wait to see if this is working. Uh, and if this is successful, everything should look identical to what it looked like before. All right, our application is refreshed here uh, and everything looks identical. So that was a success here. So and let's just validate that we are running the correct version. We are now on Angular 600 RC4 uh, and the update process was relatively smooth except for needing to install TypeScript uh, and the ng update script. So uh, uh, that was it for this update. Uh, I'll go ahead and complete these instructions out uh, and then please, please, please give it a try and let us know what you think. Let's imagine that uh, you gave this a try and you ran into some of the similar issues. So uh, the first place I want to point you to is the Angular GitHub repository. So github.com slash angular slash angular slash issues slash new. So this is a really great URL if you want to file a new issue. Um, but then also if there's some part of the experience that doesn't make sense, some part of uh, the tooling that's uh, incompatible with your environment or something we haven't thought of, definitely feel free to shoot me a message on Twitter uh, with at Stephen Fluin. So uh, I'm definitely here to help uh, the Angular team. Uh, we care a lot about making sure that this update is uh, very easy for developers. Uh, really, it's not even focused on Angular itself. It's really focused on these tool chains, right? The, the CLI, RxJS, and continuing our mission to make Angular smaller, faster, and easier to use. Thanks so much, and let us know what you think. Bye.